Hey everyone, Sax Presser here, giving you an inside look into my stream and showing you my video and output settings through Streamlabs OBS in under five minutes. Let's get into it. Before we jump right into looking at my settings, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button for this YouTube channel, Static Suppressor. I stream live here on YouTube on Tuesday nights starting at around 11 p.m. Central Standard Time. Otherwise, you can catch me out on Twitch Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday at around 11 p.m. Central Standard Time as well. See you there. Let's jump in. And just so you guys know, I want to show you guys my specs here because I'm not running off of some custom PC. Okay, this is your substandard PC build that was purchased out of a big box retailer. So I'm not running anything fancy. I got nothing, you know, so powerful that you yourself may not be able to run as well. So if you at least meet my standard of the PC I'm currently running, your stream should be able to look just as fine, if not better than mine. As you'll see here, my specs for the computer itself, I'm running an Alienware Aurora R7 desktop gaming PC straight out of the box. Nothing's been modded on it whatsoever. Uh, it's got the Intel Core i7 8700 at the 3.2 gigahertz with 16 gigabytes of RAM. So it's not, I don't have a bunch of space. The, the card that I'm running is a NVIDIA GeForce uh, 1080 only with 8 gigabyte VRAM. So it's pretty standard stuff. And I wanted to show this to you guys. So you were wondering, you weren't wondering, oh, well, he probably has a great PC to run all this stuff. Um, I don't. <laughs> I'm with you guys on this. I'm, I like to stay budget friendly, and I'm, I'm here for you guys to get the most out of your stream quality um, with the bare minimum that you may or may not be able to afford at the time. So I just wanted to point that out before we continue on to the settings. All right, y'all. So once you open up Streamlabs OBS, you're going to want to click on the settings button on the left hand corner of your screen. Now, once you do that, this page is going to open up and then you're going to want to click on the output category. Once you're there, you're going to want to simply change everything from simple to advanced. It gives you more options with what you're running as far as your stream. Audio track one is fine. Your encoder, you're going to have a few different options from 264. Maybe you have NVENC, maybe you have NVENC new. If you do have NVENC new, click it. That's the one you want to run. Rate control, you're going to want to keep at a CBR. Bit rate at 6,000 for your max, okay? Because if you're streaming on something like Twitch, they only max and cap you out at 6,000 anyway. So doing above that isn't going to do you any good. Keyframe interval, keep it at 2. For your preset, you want max quality, okay? That's going to that's gonna be what keeps your image looking super sharp. Uh, once you have that, profile main, make sure you click your look ahead and psycho visual tuning buttons that they're checked. GPU zero and max B frames, leave it at two. Great, awesome. Let's move on to the video portion. Pretty simplistic though, in my opinion. Now I have 4K, um, possibilities like my base canvas can be 4k if I so choose um, but to not put so much pressure on my PC I changed it to just the base canvas resolution of 1920 by 1080 for my display sake uh, and then the output is what everyone sees from your stream right and you want that at 1920 by 1080 if you can handle that now going above 1920 1080 like a 4k doesn't make a lot of sense Unless if you are streaming on YouTube, maybe it'll work because YouTube does have 4K compatibility. Twitch does not. Their compatibility maxes out at 1080p at 60 frames a second. Um, in my opinion anyway, stick with the 1080p at 60 frames a second because even most people who watch your stream might be on their phone and a lot of people's phones may not render well enough for the 4k or they don't have a stable connection to watch you in 4k so they normally have to manually downgrade your stream anyway so leave it at your output resolution at 10 1920 by 1080 downscale filter you're going to want the uh Lanxos, the sharpened scaling of 32 samples versus the bilinear or the bicubic you don't want a blurry look to it fps type is just the common fps values and common fps values 
I have mine set to 60 frames, 60 frames a second. Um, I want it looking crisp and sharp. Uh, a lot of people might have theirs at 30, which is fine too. There's no, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're looking for max quality, the max, um, you know, performance out of your look, your image, your output of your stream, this is what you want to have done. And that's really it, guys. Those are the settings that I would recommend for you to push your image and your stream to get it to that crisp perfection that you're looking for, for especially from a viewing experience. Uh, I hope this video is helpful for you guys. Please drop your own streaming links in the comments below, whether you're on YouTube or you're on Twitch. I would love to watch you guys, honestly, even if I'm not familiar with you. Uh, I love to I love to see other people's content and what they have going for them. You can catch me also on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, myself personally. I'm on all the social medias besides just Twitch and YouTube. So, uh, yeah, come follow me. Let's hang out. Let's have a good time streaming and gaming together. And as always, be safe, stay healthy, keep streaming. I'll see you in the next video.